Durban's Kings Park Stadium, or the Shark Tank as it is known, has witnessed many a great game of rugby. One person who has played in a number of them is this man, John Smith, the highly decorated former Springbok and Sharks captain, who has only recently hung up his boots. But he's taken his renowned leadership skills straight from the pitch to the boardroom after his appointment as Sharks chief executive. A huge challenge and it's been one that's been exciting as well. I think the first thing was getting used to wearing a, um, proper shoes every day <laughs> and lasting more than one and a half hours at a time. Uh, and then a huge amount of challenges, you know, a lot of things to get on top of. And in an environment like this, I found there is certainly scope to recreate the, the team effect and the team environment and like staff and, cause who have a, a similar goal. Smit has not been slow to make his mark at Kings Park. Coach John Plumtree has already departed but he says he won't be making wholesale changes. I'm not a stamping of authority type of person. Uh, it's not really a way in which I wanted to lead or ever did lead. I wanted to make a change in terms of the, the, the coaching structures and, and, uh, and freshen things up. You know, I, I just believe that we have, and do believe that we have an incredibly powerful squad um, that has had a lot of the same for a long time. And to regenerate them, I needed to, to try and do something different. Smith, who led South Africa to World Cup victory in 2007, understands more than most the issues of transformation in the country. Despite some significant strides in getting greater representation in the Springbok team, the squad remains largely white, something Smith is now in a position to help bring change. The first questions that I asked were about how things are happening from a transformation point of view because it's important for us to realise that uh, the demographic of our country is, is, is the one that you want to see in the people that are watching the game. So it's, um, it is a massive issue and it always will be. It will be a high priority on every single agenda that I ever make going forward uh, while I'm CEO here. The Sharks, like the rest of the South Africa franchises, have struggled in recent years to keep their best players, with many lured overseas for greater riches. But that situation makes it impossible for the South Africa teams to build for the future. Sometimes you've just got to understand, you've got to, you've got to understand your financial model, understand what you can pay your top guys and how many of them you can have and what the depth of your squad can be. Um, make players understand your business model and then create some things around that environment that make this team, the Sharks team, uh, not only about what you earn every month, but what you gain as a human being every single month about, uh, of being a Shark. Smith may have used his leadership skills on the pitch to great effect, but he knows his new position requires a whole different skill set. But given his rugby achievements, who would bet against him being a success? Dan Williams, CCTV in Durban, South Africa.